Hey beer tubers, Ryan here. Beer mail time. Big, big, huge thanks to James in Michigan. One of the viewers said, hey, I want to ship you out some beers to check out from Michigan. And I'm like, I love Michigan beer. It, you know, I have, you know, my da buddy Daniel's always taught, you know, he loves Michigan beer. And it's certainly rubbed off on me. Thanks to him, I got to try a lot of stuff. But James sent me out a box. So uh, I think everything made it. He's got like a big bag and then bags within bags. I don't know what's in here. He told me there's, actually, he might have told me one beer, but uh, that's about it. So uh, let's get this open here. Looks like they're in pairs of Ziploc bags. What I love about Michigan beer is pretty much everything comes with 12 ounces, so it makes shipping everything easy. You try more beers easily. You know, buy a, a four pack, six packs. I'm gonna need some scissors here. Actually, I don't think I'll need scissors. Okay, first up, nice. Founders beer, love Founders. One of my favorite breweries. This is the Red's Rye Pale Ale, hopped up and brewed with rye. Nice. Never had this. We'll certainly be shooting a review of it. Okay, so next one. Cool. Another uh, Red's Rye. So I'll have one to review, one to enjoy on my own, maybe share with some other guys here in San Diego that have never had it. So that's always good. Okay. Ooh, Bell's beer. Which Bell's is this? This is their uh, Lager of the Lakes, Lager. Cool, never had this one either. Yeah, uh, I don't, I forget, I'm sure Daniel's reviewed this, but I don't remember what he gave it, but. Man, I haven't done, a, I haven't done a, a craft, like straight up American style Lager in a while. So, that'll be, uh, it's a nice warm day here in San Diego, so that might be one to review uh, this weekend. Let's see, ooh, a short spear. Freedom of 78, collaboration with Half Acre. Crap, did uh, Daniel do a review of this one? I can't remember. Um, Pure Guava India Pale, I think he did do, do a review of this one and enjoyed it, so. Cool, man, let's get a label shot of that. Shorts always has some nice labels on there. So far, so good. Okay, next up is Arbor Brewing. I don't think I've had anything from Arbor. This is Sacred Cow IPA. Um, where are they? Are they Arbor? Is it Arbor, Michigan? Ypsilanti, actually. Okay. My cousin's actually going to school in Ypsilanti, so it's local to him. Um, let's check that one out. Get that in the fridge. Most of these beers are probably going to go in the fridge right away. So uh, Atwater, another brewery I've heard of. This is their Dirty Blonde. Ale brewed with orange peel and coriander. Interesting. So maybe an Air American ale meets a uh, Belgian wit beer. Okay. And two more in here. Yeah, it looks like everything made it made it in one piece, which is always awesome. You always wonder about the uh, USPS. I can tell from the top that uh, cap it's a short spear. Maybe another uh, Freedom 78. Let's see. Yep, another one of those. Cool. It's good to have some duplicates. Just because uh, I can, you know, go share these with people. I'm going to going to more bottle shares recently, so. Uh, Cool, another sacred cow from Arbor. So, you get these IPAs all in the fridge. I'm gonna have a pretty full fridge now. Big thanks again to James for sending out these beers. Really appreciate it. We'll try to review them as soon as possible. Might not quite get to all of them right away, but I'll try to at least film them, you know, very quickly. So I, I'm drinking them within like a week of getting this package and then I might stagger them out on YouTube. So, uh, and maybe a few of them might not make it, uh, on YouTube, but uh, big thanks to James. I will at least let you know what I think of every beer. Uh, and I'll tackle with Daniel too, let him know what I think. So, uh, thanks for watching. Till next time, cheers. Hey, beer tubers, Ryan here, back with another beer mail. This will be part two after the one I got from Jim in Michigan. This is from Barry's brother. Remember Barry T. Salts on YouTube? His brother Jonathan sent me out a box of beers. It's been a long in the works trade. So, finally happy to get a nice big box of beer from him. So I think I know most of the beers, if not all the beers that are in here. So let's get the first one open. Oh yes. Actually I forgot. This trade has been going on for uh, a while so I've forgotten 
what uh, everything he sent me was, and I'm going to need some scissors. Okay, so the first beer up is a beer that I heard very, very bad things about early on, uh, being a beer geek, and but recently I've heard they had better batches, so I got to actually try this one at the Pizza Port Real Ale Strong Ale Festival. Dogfish had a 120 minute IPA. I tried it at the festival, I think it was my third or fourth beer, so I wasn't too far into it, and I actually really enjoyed it. So this is, uh, I believe, the latest batch from them he was able to get me a bottle of. So I'm looking forward to reviewing that one. Okay, so the next one up, I, I got a bottle from Daniel, and, but I wanted another one so I could drink one relatively soon and then age one for maybe a year or two or possibly longer depending on how much I like it, but Founders Imperial Stout. Heard a lot of great things about it, still have not had it. It's a big hoppy, 90 IBU, 10.5% beer. So I'm looking forward to trying that one very soon. This one was bottled on December 22nd of last year, so I'm sure it has a big hop character still. Okay, so ever since I had Terrapin's Wake and Bake, I wanted to try some more stuff from them. And this is their Chocolate Milk Stout, Muhu. Awesome label on there. And heard some good things about it. It's a 2011 seasonal on there. So, they're getting towards out of stout season, but I still want to do some stout, so probably will be doing this one, review of this one shortly. Like I mentioned, I was a big fan of it, and yeah, I got, now I have another bottle, which is awesome. I can drink it off camera. And plus, this beer should age pretty well at 8%, a little over 8%. That's the Wake and Bake. They're WNBs, it's known now from Terrapin. So, I know that beer's awesome. So, uh, I don't know, maybe we'll see how that does with like a year of age on it. Don't know, maybe I'll just break it out one night just to drink off camera. Okay, so we're still doing the larger or smaller ball formats here. He did the Chad method of bubble wrap and then the uh, bag. Ah, uh, this is looking like a homebrew. Let's see, let's get this thing open. Yeah, this is a homebrew, it says P on the top. I forget if he mentioned in the emails we had what type of beer this was, but I'll have to look it up. If not, he'll have to let me know. But always good to home. I'll probably crack that open. I don't know if I should crack it open for a homebrew Wednesday video or not. Jonathan, let me know. And I will. If not, I'll just uh, enjoy it off camera and let you know what I think. All right, so now we're... Uh Big 750 milliliter. This I've heard some good things about from Captain Lawrence. And I wanted to try some Captain Lawrence beers. This one sounded of the really limited stuff, or their not so limited stuff that he could get. I wanted to try. And this is Nor'easter, their winter warmer. It's an ale brewed with elderberries aged in bourbon barrels. That sounds very, very interesting. So I don't know when exactly this will be open, but. Uh, it could be a while. This one might be a good one to age. Uh, I might have to see if there's any reviews of it. Check it out. See maybe what people are thinking about, uh, how it's drinking, all that thing. But uh, very cool. Always good to get a bourbon barrel aged beer. All right. Speaking of barrel aged beers, Victory's Dark Intrigue. As soon as that was announced, I haven't reviewed Storm King yet, and I probably should. But uh, this is. This is the barrel aged essentially version of of Storm King as Dark Intrigue and it was bald on November 10th. Batch 6 it looks like. So uh, very looking forward to trying that one. I got a very small taste at the Stone Open Ox Festival, but I was towards the end and my palate was shot. But I know I didn't hate it, so that's a good thing. Oh yeah. This is another beer I've tried at a ball share and very much enjoyed. And I've had the uh, the beer that they uh, went even further with. And uh, what I'm talking about is a beer from Cigar City. This is Marshall Zukoff's Imperial Stout. I can already tell you this is a fantastic Imperial Stout. So I don't I don't know if I'll review this one on camera or not. This might go to a ball share, but this is the base beer for Hunapoos, which we did shoot a review of that with, uh, or I did shoot a review of that with the Beer Geek Nation guys, the Hunapoos, when they were out here for Beer Week. So if you want to know what I think about that one, go back to the Beer Geek Nation ball share. I think it's the, it's the last video, first part of that one. So, uh, yeah, I'd love to get a Hunapoos too. 
Which uh, I might have to trade. I might have to trade for one of those soon. Okay, so this is the last beer, and I am, have a complete mess going on. <laughs> um, great packaging job, though, Jonathan. This is uh, definitely uh, everything's intact here. Okay, so final beer is the Weyerbacher Reserva 2011's Ale with raspberry puree added Asian oak barrels. I I think this is a sour. I'm not entirely sure. It might be just a fruit beer that gets barrel aged, which you would think would go sour if uh, they're not sterilizing the the fruit. But uh, yeah, this is a uh, great great collection of beers. Look forward to trying them all. Not sure when I'll get to everything, but I think since the uh, Dogfish had 120, relatively fresh. I'll re let's see. It was, yeah, ball in 2012. So uh, this is fresh enough. I'll probably do this one right away since it is a it is a really hoppy beer, even though it's like 18%, whatever the hell it is, 20%, somewhere in that range. So I'll probably do that one pretty soon. The other ones, uh, you'll definitely see a Founders Imperial Stout shortly. And I'm not sure about these bigger beers because I like taking those to ball shares, especially if they're uh, hard to get out here. But uh, thanks to Jonathan, and I guess Barry kind of was part of the deal too, as far as the trade goes, what beers. So now I just need to uh, get the rest of the beers for your trade and get it shipped out. So until next time, guys, cheers.